Hey, buddy, how's it going? What's it to you, porcupine head? That hey. stupid clock doesn't work, no matter. Uh, it doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she did, and she should die for it. Die! Die. Ow, that's better, my throat. <laughs> well, whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, this is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Err, <laughs> Oh. Oh, 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 silly me. Did I, um, I, I guess I did. <laughs> yeah, you went bat crap crazy. Oh, yeah. Scary. I know. <laughs> Miss May, let me ask, did you take your medications this morning? <laughs> uh, Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Oh, oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. She didn't take her meds. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. This April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... You are a psychomaniac. You heard that it too. before. You had heard about it. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She... Oh, wait, that's your line. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Judge, you think everything's interesting. <laughs> Let's see it then. Show I'll me bet he thought everything. Harry Butts was interesting. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay sorry. Anyway, the wiretap is clearly what you need to do here, so take that! I'm actually pointing randomly in my room whenever I say phrases like objection or take that. I love that. Have a look at this. Uh, ooh, that, that, <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room, along with some other things that are not important. <laughs> Ruth was talking about it. <laughs> That's, That's all right. Please explain to the court what this is. It's an iPod, sir. Yes, it's a iPod that was. Spray painted black. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss Mia Face phone, were you not? Oh my gosh, you just said tapping. Yeah. You were tapping. You didn't yell objection, what's wrong with you? Well, I was I was stuck on your. Uh, you have to yell it anyway. If you see the phrase objection, right, you objection. yell it. Your Honor, th this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure of that. It is. Objection overrule! Haha, <laughs> rejected. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretape. This is outrageous! Does the defense truly claim that the witness was taping her phone? Tapping. Is it tapping or taping? I taping would taping, be T-A-P-I-N-G. You know what? Whatever. Absolutely. You and your oh horrible God. grammar. It's not horrible. Yes, it it's is. really not that bad. I know how to spell and everything, but I just mispronounce stuff. Anyways, even if that was the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Yes. Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah, I think I can. It's simple. What? I love that. What? Every... Here's my what? proof. What? The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... Once again, my Your cell phone. phone. So, ching, take that! I present the defendant's right. cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. It's cute. Listen I once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. And we're going to skip through it again. Yep, sorry, people. Should have paid attention in the last few episodes. Miss May, and you really used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. Yeah, you really should have. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Yeah, if you just jumped in right here, it'd be really strange. Am I wrong? I... You no, know, you're not wrong. You're right. It would be... Wait. I'm Phoenix wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, objection. Good job. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, Your Honor look at the witness's ridiculous. face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an yes. answer. Kohiro. La, 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 la. <laughs> She's going to her happy place. <laughs> Witness, answer the question and stop singing that awful song. Did you tap her phone? <laughs> la 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 Miss la Bird, la la la. Shut la. up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer! 
I'm a judge. <laughs> you went to the judge? That's weird. <laughs> so you lawyer? Uh, I'm a judge. Oh, right. <laughs> Camera guy's like, it's, I knew that. It's fair. All of you could ganging up on me like that. Oh, <laughs> that girl, is that Did it? Did really just say that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love that. I so just much. snotted Pirate out my nose. <laughs> <laughs> that did it to Court Scene, the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Which is, what why is the wire did it? Yep. <laughs> why did you tap her phone? Ganging up on me. Uh. Answer the question. Make me! Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity tapping or irrelevant? Yeah, she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Confound it all. Yes, my dismay. Listen to my voice. Tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. I call you irrelevant. Your mom's irrelevant. Slab! While this court does not condone the defense's tone of speech, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Ha! I'd like to see her pull that off. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Nope, it ended in a period, not a comma. Sorry. Damn, uh, she's good. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, you're not the okay, first if man. that was not a direct yeah. statement of... Uh, I can and I will. There. You can't be serious. No way. Oh, I think I will. Way, I say. Way. Oh, and I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Because apparently <laughs> we have some naysayers in the audience. Okay, so the killing happened around 9 at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from the sweet bellboy. R room service? Yes, I like guys' coffee at 9 o'clock at night, like everyone else! I believe it was. Oh boy, damn! Iced coffee. You know, like nor normal coffee, but cold. Because people want cold things in the middle of the If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you're, you have regular coffee. Actually, you have iced down coffee. Yeah, pretty much. Iced coffee. I think I'm making this up. Ask the bell oh boy. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. That... Wow. Slam. So, where does that leave us? Actually, we're in a courtroom still, sir. It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Fay, commit the murder. No, they're gonna let her just walk away. There's no way I can win unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come well on, said. Think it's something. Uh, let's I see. Say... I say we call the bellboy. Same here. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious there, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. No, in the bedroom. Quite low already. Really? Objection! I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? I don't like him. He smells. Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. Hmm? However, you agree to one connection, I'll consent to calling this witness. Connection or condition? Both. Condition? <laughs> Yes, see, condition. If Miss April May's connection. alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. Therefore, you must accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya is my condition and connection. What? Better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. I was gonna say pocket. Otherwise, yeah. Maya will be declared guilty on this spot. I don't know why I was going to say pocket. Whatever. What should I do? Accept the condition? Except give up! We should give up! That's always the answer. Now let's accept. Alright, I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. 
Humph. Fool. You fell, you little fool. You fell right into my trap. I love still pointing the finger going, uh-oh. Uh, um, wait. Crap. Very well. <laughs> wait, oh, very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. Good thing he was here in the courtroom. <laughs> I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Reading, senor. <laughs> uh, I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That t-shirt looks rather heavy. Judge, what does that have to do with anything? So without further ado- What the- The witness may begin his testimony. Okay, that was completely Very irrelevant, but okay. Very good, sir. Why do you even bring that with him? Why not? Show off his work. I am age room service. I am the head bellboy at the fine Gat Gate Gatwater Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. Just in case no one believed me, I brought my tea set with me. I know. I believe I received a call after eight o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course, and I delivered the iced coffee to our great. <laughs> Our guest, Miss May, has. Stepped. I love where his eyes were looking. That was. Great. I know. I see. <laughs> he looked like yes. such a sleaze ball. I see, just like the bellboy saw, Judge. The defense may begin its cross examination. <laughs> what is wrong with us? <laughs> what is wrong with this game? Right, I'm ready. I hope. We didn't even make it through you the second have. half of this. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now, I'm screwed! And Maya will be finished. That too. Maya, that program? I probably should say I'm screwed after all that. But anyway. Alright, so. Um. It's kind of hard to uh, nitpick here, but I believe we can press something. What is it? Um, it would be the last statement, which is, and I delivered the iced coffee to our guest. Ah, crap, I just skipped it. If you keep going too far, he'll just say something about, it. I'm sure there's something wrong with the testimony. I delivered the iced coffee to Okay. You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Uh, ab absolutely, sir. Absolutely, sir. It's taking a drink. Sure you were. Uh, yes, it was from this he said you were taking a drink, sir. As in, so very absolutely. Okay, sir. <laughs> Everything ends in sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? How come you're so very sensitive to me? Well, <laughs> when I brought the room service, uh, sir, she, uh, the guest, sir, favored me with the, um, uh, an embracer, sir. Let me guess. She bent down. <laughs> embracer, oh is that God. French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir, even though I'm English, but not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? Why she's... wouldn't she have done that? Because all like... the people in this town are crazy! I believe uh, perhaps she was momentarily sw- And the highlights in my hair. And this tea set. It was a moment <laughs> I shall never, ever forget, sir. Yeah, I'll bet you won't. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember. Bellboy it's an affair! It must be! Uh, what do we do now? Now we go back to the third statement, which is she asked for an iced coffee and I, uh, to be brought to her on 9 o'clock on the dot, sir! And press that and statement. Press. 9 o'clock on the dot, you say? <laughs> yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to be, to drink, to be drink, <laughs> to drink after she finished. To uh, drink and be merry! Nine o'clock, the time of the murder. He's good. It's no good. There's nothing here. Cojito. Is that it? <clears throat> tisk tisk. Finally, you understand. This absolutely no reason to lie. Now. I like that. Now. <laughs> if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Huh. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Protest yes, or give up? Up. Giving up! We need to give up. Always the answer. Protest. Wait, please wait. 
Yes. That's judge. Quotes. We're gonna put all like sidebars. Yes. Yes, Mr. Wright, and what? Go heal? Yes. Does the defense have anything something to add? One last anything question. Like Let me ask one last question. Objection! Your honor, I must object. This charade uh, charade of justice. This has charade. Gone charade, yes. Churros. Charade. <laughs> now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. Alright. Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Check in room uh, service how or was your bed day? Bed making! Yay, beds! No, check in. Oh, crap, I clicked. That's really the only one that would ever seem to be important. Room service, maybe, but bed making kind of pointless. Tell me about check in. Tell me about when you checked in Miss May. Or checked her out. Sorry, if you know what you I mean. Have to do that. I skipped. Uh, oh, alright, very well, sir. Uh, my first thought was that she was a beautiful person. She just my type of girl, so it was just a disappointment, really. I see. Wait, excuse me. What exactly was a disappointment? Well, I am not without charm, sir, but I'd have a little chance with her lover there. Hmm. What did he say? What did you say? Why did it repeat that line? Uh, oh, uh, uh, rather... Bad boy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? Um, objection? I object. That was objectionable. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Uh, well, sir, you uh, didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, uh, yes, uh, quite. Ah, uh, indeed. Uh, it was the uh, good. Uh, can't read there, Forrester. Mr. Edgeworth, who. Uh, he asked me not to mention it was uh, specifically asked if it what if it wasn't specifically asked. Ugh. Dramatic. That's your line. I said you fool. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You fool. Foolish fool. I've done it. I've won victorious. Kohiro. Okay. Ms. I'm April actually May ahead of you, believe it or not. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Scandalous. The scandal. Correct? Uh, yes, sir. Then when you brought them room service, you didn't see the man in that room? Um, no, sir. That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In this new light, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. You agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Who? I skipped that. Who is the other person? Simple. It was the bellboy. Clearly, the manliest the man boy. here is Miss April May. No, the man with Miss yeah. May, of course. Yeah. The man who checked in with Miss May. Dun dun dun. Oof! Right in the that. gut. Oof. Your My honor. Belly. My belly. Of course. As. As has been previously revealed, Miss May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet, Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man who was with her. This bellboy saw no one else in that room at the time of the murder. My, 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 what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. It's too late to apologize. I knew you were going to do that. Thank you. I suppose you'd like it if it was too late to apologize, wouldn't you? After all. It was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Oof! Don't you just love it how my finger shoots a bullet at you every single time? I know! Upstart! Uh, amateur! Th these accusations are ludicrous! Ludicrous speed! Wow. Go! Enough! I haven't said ludicrous yet! Ludicrous! The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look fully into this matter fully. Am I, Am I understood? understood? <laughs> yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all for today of the trial of Maya Faye.
That rhymed. Quart adjourned. Woohoo! Sla! In stereo. September 7th, 2.24 p.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby Number 1. <gasps> Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there! Really? Uh-huh. I think it might be your... I think I might be your newest fan! Oh, I was just doing my job, you know? I blow paper into your face. Then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. About By about 20%. Huh? Face of his with eyes wide open and trembling lips. <laughs> it sends shivers up my spine. Hmm, if you say so. Uh, so what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Well, no. I don't... I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. Uh, lead? Oh, lead? <laughs> a lead? Really? The man with this mate. He is the key. That was intentional. Uh-huh. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. Why is she all scared now? What's wrong, Maya? I don't know. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Uh, do you think he was the other one who... Maybe so. Sis... Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you! One, two, three, four, five. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. You need to see I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that got left of the record. But we still get it to the court record. What a wonderful record that was, right? I don't know how much good this will do to me at all at all now. Anyway, time for me to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that it's detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. In and the next episode, really because we've been recording for almost an hour and 40 minutes. Yep. Which means so we are going to save as soon as it will let me right here. There we are. Saving. Dun, 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 dun. And next time on Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. We will be, as he said, hitting the streets. That is September 7th. And seeing what all there is to see. So, this has been Pete yep. Martha Roy. And I'm Cabral95. And we will see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.